Hey, good morning. I thought I'd make another little video just uh, about the soil and what I've been doing the last couple years to build the soil. Uh, part of organic gardening is, uh, well, the major component is building the soil. You feed the soil, the soil feeds the plants, and the plants feed you. Or at least that's the mantra. So, uh, how I go about feeding the soil in the fall, I get a, just cover this with leaf mulch, and that's pretty much it. Uh, three, four inch layer, finely chopped, and then it just sits. And then during the uh, rest of fall, winter, and early spring, the weather, the rain, uh, and the soil organisms break down or use this, uh, yeah, break down the leaf mulch and um, it really builds the soil. <clears throat> and by that I mean the, uh, the structure of the soil improves um, as especially the earthworms come up, grab a little beet, or it begins shredding this organic material and then take it down into their burrows. Uh, and as they're sliming around, um, they're not only uh, breaking this stuff down so that the nutrients are available to the plant roots, you know, and making the tunnels and things and excreting uh, the waste as a byproduct, but uh, they're also helping to build uh, soil aggregates as um, you get bacteria and fungi that are also growing <clears throat> and they're good bacteria, good fungi that are sliming together these soil particles into these aggregates which uh, then increases uh, the capacity of the soil to hold water um, increases the plants ability to absorb nutrients as uh, different good bacteria and different uh, fungi actually have kind of a symbiotic relationship with the plant roots as the plants are growing and this stuff and again with the earthworms uh, building all these tunnels makes uh, just these easy paths for these the plant roots to grow down to uh, have access to air um, water nutrients uh, so it really does wonders um, now I have I guess this year I used a little bit put some soil amendments in uh, I guess bone meal, blood meal and another uh, organic complete fertilizer just to kind of compensate for these heavy feeders um, these plants in these three beds here are the primary component they're going to be using is nitrogen so just to kind of help them along since I, I'm kind of got them planted so close you know on the space limitations I have here <clears throat> but um for the most part the the leaf mulch is the biggie and it's going to do more uh, I guess doing some sheet composting is going to do more for the soil than anything I can really add to it and you'll find that uh, year after year it just gets better and better as you continue that and then you don't till. That's probably the biggest, uh, other than the leaf mulch itself, uh, not tilling or not turning the soil. Instead, we're just uh, aerating the soil with like a broad fork. It's got 12 inch tons that drive in the ground and just we're kind of lifting it, uh, breaking apart the soil in a gentler way and not completely destroying the soil aggregates or the structure that's been built by the soil organisms um, and so by broad forking it you know using a gentler approach um, we still accomplish what we want to do is you know aerate the soil but we're not destroying its structure and the structure of it is important because again that's what allows it to uh, store um, water <clears throat> Um, oxygen um, 
and make it keep it uh, habitable for the these soil organisms. Uh, let's see anything else along that line. The other th advantage to this is that it really cuts down on the weeding because uh, most of your weed seeds are going to grow in the top couple inches of the soil. And so when you till, I mean, there's like literally thousands of uh, weed seeds, you know, they're lying dormant just waiting for the right conditions you know, of, of getting the right amount of heat, right amount of, of light to... Um, stimulate growth and so in tilling you stir all that up and you'll find that within a couple weeks you're going to have a you're going to be battling a lot of weeds whereas here I mean there are still a few weeds <clears throat> that come up but um because they're coming up in leaf mulch which is in the uh he's making up the couple uh inch top inches of your soil it's a lot easier to uh, to weed they just pull right out and there's a lot less of them because you're not you're kind of taking care of the problem on the front end and uh just preventing them from germinating in the first place. So no, it's worked out pretty well. You know, I'm, every year I'm learning something new. And, uh, this gets better and better. So I guess that's it.